Monday, remember, I introduced 31 in relationship to chapter 30, and I said there is a, uh, there, in chapter 30, we learned about the uh, displacement current, and then I said chapter 31 is like the counterpart to that. I said if we change the magnetic flux as a function of time, then we create an electric field in a closed wire, and that uh, electric field will cause a voltage difference when you go around the wire. So the electric field dotted into the DL, and uh, this is a closed line integral. That's going to equal to the EM EMF, which has units of volts. And this Faraday's law is so applicable. And uh, as I lecture, I'm going to show you some demonstrations throughout the lecture. Um, OK, let's define, first of all, what magnetic flux is. Magnetic flux is the integral of V dotted into dA, just like electric flux was the integral of E dotted into dA. So uh, this one, basically what it's saying is, if you change the B or the A or any other kind of uh, change where uh, it's changing as a function of time, then you create an uh, electric field in a wire. Okay? So let's, let's see now the different ways that we can actually do this. Uh, and the good thing, too, about this is that there's no other little constant here like mu0, zero, e0. Zero. There's no other constant to make it very small. So it's something that is actually noticeable, a lot more noticeable than the displacement current effect. OK, so the easiest way we can do it is just change b as a function of time, but keep the a the same. Okay. In other words, Lenz's law tries to explain the meaning of the minus sign in this formula. Lenz's law tr tries to explain this minus sign. What does the minus sign mean? OK, so here's what Lenz's law says. The induced current is in such a direction such that the B field created by this induced current fights against the change of the original B field that created it, OK? So nature fights against what you're doing, what you're trying to do. That's basically another way of saying it. So let's kind of rewrite, uh, let's rewrite that. The direction of the induced current is in such a direction, uh, is in, uh, let's see, the direction of the induced current is in such, <coughs> you know what, let's put it this way, is such that the B field created, let's put it here, such that the B field created by this current fights against the change of the original B field that created it. Now, the most important word in this sentence here, let's see, the direction of the induced current is such that the B field created by this current fights against the change. That's the, probably the most important word of the uh, sentence. The, the, the B field created by this induced current fights against the change of the original B that created it. 